We will now discuss the additional options that are available to you for the synchronized task. First, we'll bring up our synchronized task by going to Synchronize Files and Manage Synchronized Tasks. Once our synchronized utility window opens, we will select Open and we will choose our synchronized CTO from our desktop. Once this is loaded, you will see that our options are still there from the last time. We have different modes, as you can see here. We have the Synchronize 1 to Synchronize 2. This is the default that's set up for every synchronized task that's created, meaning we will transfer or synchronize files that are on your chosen Location 1, which is this case our local machine, to our Location 2, which is our remote side connection to the synchronized user's home folder. We can also change that to be Synchronize Location 2 to Location 1, meaning we can synchronize our remote user folder to a chosen folder on our local machine. If you select the Synchronize Both, you will see we automatically set it for you to do the Synchronize to both, whether it's only on either one or newer on either one, it will synchronize and update the folders accordingly. The Customize can be chosen if you say something like we if same is on both then we don't want to transfer anything so we'll set all this to no transfer and if the same is on both we want to say we'll delete from location one this is known as a customized mode and it will show up as customized your options here top level only means we will only synchronize the top level folder and any files under that folder but not the subfolders. Show files and folders that won't be transferred that's chosen if you wish for us to display in the log file the files or folders that we did not transfer during the synchronize. Visual compare only. This does exactly as the description says there is only a visual comparison that will be recorded in the log file but we will not perform any type of transfer. Show FTP conversation and log. This gives us insight as to any issues that may come about during your synchronized task and it will show the conversation between the client and the server it's connecting to. Perform case insensitive comparisons. This is especially useful when connecting to Unix or mainframe machines that do have case sensitive files and you want to be able to get those files regardless of the case that's being used. The skip unmodified files does a comparison and if the files are not the same then we will update them on the remote or the chosen synchronized site as long as the server supports the MDTM command. We have our post transfer actions which are delete source file which is simply once that file has been transferred, then we will go back and we will delete the file. Then you have the second option of moving the source file. Once again, once the transfer has been completed successfully, you can choose where you wish to have the file moved, be it the remote site or the local site. Your next option, rename the source file. We give you the macros and you will pull them in as is with the square brackets around them the only name or you can use the only extension you can add the hour the two digit hour the time the seconds the months the day the year or the four digit year each one of these would have to be included in these square brackets as you see right here where the only name is right now you also have the option to do a combined rename and move source files. Once again, you choose your selected macros from here and you choose your destination from here, be it remote or local. And once that file has been moved or those files have been moved and successfully transferred, we will come back and we will do this action after the completion of the transfer. Over here you have your exclusions and your inclusions. Your exclusions is if you want to decide to exclude a file type or a folder or both. And you would indicate up here what that would be. In this case we will choose files 
and for this example we will say any txt files or any jpeg files we do not want we want to exclude those from our transfers and what will happen is it will do the synchronize and when it finds any of these extensions those files will not be transferred because they have been excluded from the transfer the inclusion rule acts the same as the exclusion with the exception of this is the files that you want to include in your synchronize so if you have files or folders that are listed you can say any files that start with the letter F any folder that starts with the letter F and you can do a star and if you're doing the files and folders then you would simply do apply to both and you would just amend this by adding a dot and a star so this will cover any folders that start with the letter F and anything that comes behind it and then any files that start with the letter F and whatever comes behind it and all extensions.